Yeah, that's that's about how this usually goes. That never goes well. I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Vastra. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why would the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Why did the Jedi spare me? What are you even talking about? It, the meet this. Uh, what are you even talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. My mom, Corridor. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side was difficult to resist. I did this quest to find the Starforge that the Judominal people needed. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? were Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord and know that I have taken your place. No, this is some kind of a, uh, a, a trick, right? A Sith lie. Like, you can't be kidding. You gotta be kidding me. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Forge to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. Do you mean I'm really your master? Once I served you, Revan, but I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. No, 
I'm sorry. You're not you're not selling me on this. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Raven. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the manner in which you were captured. Well, why did you betray me then? Your master. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Bastila? Bitch, is this true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan. Capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Hold on, but the memories I have, where did they come from then? Like, I'm a soldier. I kill people for a living. Where did I get that from? I never use a lightsaber. I don't remember having one until I met you guys. When the, what the fuck? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Wait, Bastila, hold the fuck on. You're telling me you've been lying to me this whole time, yet you have been doing nothing but chastising me about my use of the Force? Get the fuck out of my face right now. I wanted to tell you, but the Council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The Council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. I trusted you, Bastila, and what makes this worse is you're such a hypocrite for this. Oh, don't use force persuade in stupid situations. Bitch, you should have just killed me. This would have been easier. How can you say that? Malak nearly killed you, but the Jedi Council gave you another chance to live. They gave you a chance to redeem yourself by defeating the Sith. A rash and futile hope. The dark side is too strong. My power is too great. Even my old master is no longer a match for me. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Your triumph, Malik. You seem to forget, homie. I'm still alive. So, uh, there ain't no triumph till I'm dead, nigga. And you ain't killing me. Not like this. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus apprentice as it was meant to be. Oh, you done fucked up, son. You gonna fight me? You sure? Cause I got stimulus, homie. You gonna get fucked up. Really? Really? This is the best you got? You're just gonna run away? Like a coward? Ugh. Fucking Sith. Can't trust them. Always. They're always gonna run away as soon as it's convenient. They're never gonna fight you straight out. Because God help them. That's too difficult. Because, you know. Why fight me fairly if you could just run away like a coward? Oh. 
I'm not that concerned. He's not gonna be able to beat me anyway. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? Really, Malik? Really? You really want to do this right now. This is really how you want this to go down. Because I'm going to warn you. No, you're not getting me with this shit. This isn't over, Malak. Your pledge to us is our deed to be reckoned. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. Really? For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! The door sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What about Bastila? We can't just leave the bitch. I mean, yeah, she's a lying fucking asshole, but I don't want to, like, leave her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off this ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. Sacrifice be in vain. Come on, man. Y'all got me messed up. Fine. Just know I could have taken him. The fool was not that powerful. See ya. Of course they sent fucking attack drones after me. Why wouldn't they? Come on. Yeah. Oh, you're like, what's left, right? Like, there ain't that many of you. You guys never come in that big of a fucking group. You would think if you guys wanted me dead that badly, you'd actually bring, like, actual equipment to kill me. Just saying. See ya, Revit. Oh, Malik. I'm Revit. Don't, don't leave me. Le take me with you. I don't want to be stuck here. Fuck you guys. I am out. To Malik. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You she's dead? Nah, Malik won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Uh we we really can't help her unless we find the star map, unfortunately. We need the Star Forge. That's our first and primary mission. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? Okay, you know, you know, Karth, if you're going to sit here and snitch on me, can we at least finish the mission before you get all girly on me? 
I don't care what Malik said, and he has no way to prove it. I'm not Revan. I'm sorry. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? Well, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karen told me on the Leviathan, and Basil confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? <laughs> this is big. Do you remember anything about being a Dark Lord? Uh, small bits and pieces, strange dreams, a desire to murder Karth, but, you know, other than that, nothing really. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Homie, look, if I was a Dark Lord, you wouldn't have gotten off a of terrace. I would have killed you the second you started whining, all right? So let's just, you know, let's just put a pin in that shit for a second before you sit here getting all fucking whiny about this shit. I've had to listen to you complain for like a fucking, like four months, dude. Shut up. I'm not the Dark Lord anymore anyways, I'm Mara Jask. I'm one of you. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far. But we cannot trust you in any of this. Uh, yo, HK, you're pretty discerning. Uh, oh god, are you gonna kill me? Because I'm really not up for this right now. Answer. My program is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring me, Master. Your homing system? What the hell is that? You mean Revan? Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It's a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Well, that, that actually makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. All right, Jolie. How about you, homie? What about me? I already knew who you were, so it wasn't my place tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help as I can. Hey, uh, Candorous. You're, you're a pretty tough dude. What's you? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Hell yeah, ride or die. That's what I like. Hell yeah. You won't abandon me, T3, right? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges.
All right, Karth. Everyone else is on my side, so are you going to be a whiny bitch, or are you going to stand by me on this one? Another Sith got you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. You don't have any other choice, do I? I'm not Revan anymore, Karth. You gotta believe that. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. How do you think I feel? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Or I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that Star Forge and save Bastila. So. Let's do it before it's too late. All right. Yes, what's on your mind? We need to talk about me being Darth Revan before we go any further with this ridiculous mission. If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. And I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. My wife, my kids, the dust I've thrown. But I can't. Why can't you? I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. And whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time. And if I make the wrong choice? And then I hope I can save you from yourself. Fair enough. Well, uh, this episode's gone on a wee bit on the long side, boys and girls, and I apologize. Hey, Juhani, what's going on, girl? How can you possibly be aware that I am the Jedi who stood serving on Tarras? It was Revan leading my army to defeat the Mandalorians. But then again, I knew when I heard that become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong. The woman who saved me, well, I had come to care for her, but never go completely to the dark side. I don't know who that woman was at that point in time, but it's not me now. I mean, not completely. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and followed by your example, and there is no way I can escape. You'll do fine, Juhani, I promise. That is especially meaningful, coming from you. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember. Sweet. Hey, uh, Zabar. Uh, how do you feel about me being Revan? Is that a problem? I don't know why I expected anything else from you, honestly. You, you never did have much nuance. How about you? Statement. HK four. So I would like to try restoring some of your memory. Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you, and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point, I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. 
Hey, uh, Candorish, you were gonna tell me about my exploits, weren't you? Yeah, what do you want? Tell me about the Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleet began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions, you were a genius on the field. You are held in very high regard among my people. You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. If, uh... But what about the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around us, outshining the stars. What happened in that battle? It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Why didn't you retreat then? It was what we had wanted all along in a way. We wanted to fight the best in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, Surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else? Your choice. All right. Now, we were told that, uh... Dantooine was basically rubble. So, uh, I'm not expecting anything good to come from this. Like... At all. Alright. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's see. It's gonna be fucking rubble, isn't it? Fucking wasteland. Blown out. Uh, where are we? I'm very confused. Where is this? Yeah, where are we? That's a very good question. Is this nice to see the Hawk still in one piece? Beauty of a ship that. Who are you? Oh, nobody special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the Hawk here all the time. How do you know about the Hawk? Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the exchange, didn't it? Corriban's nice and remote. The kind of place the exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. Yep. Sick. And did it just force me to go to Korriban? Because I really didn't want to go to Korriban. I appreciate you, game, but this isn't where I wanted to be. You forced me onto Korriban. And I don't know why you did that. Because you forced me here. You didn't give me an option, game. You forced me. I'm assuming it's because I can't fly around the galaxy freely anymore, can I? Oh, no, I can. Fuck you. I'm going to Tatooine first. Why did you force me to Korriban? I have shit I want to do. That's such a bullshit move, game. Now I gotta split this episode up into two because you've clearly forced my hand on this. Ugh. Of course, why am I not sir? I figured this would happen. 
What, because I got the best of Malik, he's just gonna fuck with me everywhere I go? I hope not, because... Okay, but where are you? That's the big question I have right now. Ah, okay. At least now I know where the fuck you are. I couldn't see you before. No, for real though, game. Why did you force me to Corbon? Maybe I have other plans to take care of. Like, I do have other side quests I want to do, like checking in on missions with brother. We still have to accomplish that. I kind of never came back after I gave him the top glance. I kind of want to see if my investment, which I have extreme doubts, actually paid off for me in the long run. Might be nice to know. Just saying. Maybe, maybe I want to know if my investment paid off. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it did. I don't know. I deserve to know, game. I've put time into this. I am just as invested as you are. We are nearing the end. I have one more star map, and it's going to be easy for me to get, because most of the work I'm going to have to go through to get it is not going to be a thing. Oh shit, everyone's here. Wow. Literally everyone but Jahan. Why is Juhani not out here? What the hell? It's weird. Statement. Commentary. Of course I do, Master. You are Revan. You are my master. The one who created me. Uh, you can't argue with droids, man. It's a, it's a fucking fucking waste of your time. Uh, any particular reason, game? You just let me out the ship without an option to have a team? Maybe I want to have a team, game. Uh, okay. Uh, you mean Malik? The Lord of the Sith. I'm speaking of Darth Revan. Of you. I'm not. I'm not. How. Uh, who. Uh, who are you? You're with the exchange, aren't you? Shit. Oh, don't act so fucking offended. Jesus. Alright, get to the point. How do you know my true identity? Who, who fought? Karth, I swear to God. Oh, shit. Sources? What, what sources? Of course someone's willing to talk for money. Alright, alright. You're not wrong. I'm not in this. You're wrong. I'm not in this for revenge. Maybe, maybe not, but whatever your motivations may be, you do intend to stop Malak and his followers. Of that, we are sure, and we want to help. Are you just going to... Uh, let me see these items. 
I'll check it out next time I'm on Corbin. Call me. Stop it. Goodness sakes. All right, game. Is there a reason why you're not letting me? Like, I wanted to do that thing with his son. All right, cool. Everyone's back in their original places. Maybe it'll. Thank you. Christ. I don't care. It doesn't matter who comes with me now. Game's almost over. I don't care. Someone's getting disappointed in this playthrough. I just haven't decided who yet. Here we go. Car, Carco Nasty, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your pretty friend here, hey? How do you do, miss? <sighs> I hate it when you people do this to me. Can we uh, hurry this up? Oh, I apologize. You folks are probably busy, aren't you? I just wanted to catch up with Carp, that's all. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, um, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Tilo still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustin? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me, you... Didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustin's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustin anywhere. Positive. He's um he's going to Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's going to Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry. I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure. No, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. I understand. We'll go as... Are you sure that's wise? I don't know. I, I don't know why Dustal would be with the Sith, but I, I have to find out. There's simply no choice. All this time I thought he was... Well, he must be a man by now. Yeah, and you're, uh... You're essentially put a deadbeat dad. What? Don't don't give me that look. I I know you're all giving me raised brows as I say that. Fuck you. The kid the kid probably believes his dad is a deadbeat. All right. His dad was there. His dad's gone. That's usually how this goes. I'm not stupid. All right. I'm here to claim my investment, dickhead. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Where is my... Where is my lovely investee? Am I gonna have to go looking for this asshole? I never... I never did actually follow through on this quest. So, I will openly admit, I might not be 100% sure where he is. Honestly, I only came to this planet to... You know... Take care of, uh getting this last side quest as i said every character has an affiliation we've done them all up until now uh jolie's friend bastila's mom you know all that good shit so of course i'm always interested in following through i get it someone leveled up thank you here, you know what? Just so you can spare me having to listen to you level up every other fucking step. There you go. Happy? I'm here. You're leveled up. All right, boys and girls, this has been an extra long episode. I apologize. Next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, we're actually heading to Korriban. Stay tuned, everybody, and I will see you all next time.